This is the Coastal Trail at Terranova National Park. This is by the North Visitor Center. They actually had free showers that we took opportunity of, advantage of, and also washers and dryers. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a huge, I'm thinking that's a man of war. No. I, it's pretty it's big. It's flipping over. You see it? It's purple. It's tentacles out in there. Huh. Anyway, I guess this must be saltwater or brackish. I don't know. It's really beautiful here just from the bridge. We're at the Skirwink Trail. It's in Port Rexton. It's a loop trail. Here's our first water look. This is our second lookout point. It's a rock out of nowhere right there. It's almost like a gorge down there. So these are some of the steps that we take. I'm kind of leaning over this one. Don't want to fall in. And right up the road there was a little inlet where I didn't have to lean in. We're on an actual wood walkout now. I think this is the highest we're going to climb. Here's a 180. This might be about the highest we're climbing. Can you hear the birds? Each stop just gets prettier and prettier. There's the highway. I know we're getting probably within a kilometer or two. That might be Trinity. There's a lighthouse. There's also a Trinity East, so I'm not really sure. There's the beach we saw from up on high. These are the first ripe blueberries I've seen, so I think I'm going to have me a little snacky-poo. Well, we made it back to the trailhead, and this board says to support your trail sponsors, so I guess we need to go visit Port Rexton Brewing next. We're now in Elliston, which is the root cellar capital of the world. We're going to the Puffin viewing site. These are doors to their root cellars. I don't know if you can see the jagged edges of these rocks. Well, these are the puffins plus some other birds. I'm not really even sure why they are here. Well, it suddenly turned chilly, and we hope you enjoyed watching the Skirwing Trail and the puffins today. So interestingly, this rock has cormorants and seagulls. Birds of a feather flock together. You might need to hit pause on this for the puffin colony and root cellar information. Good morning, it's Wednesday. We're headed north to the Bonavista, and this is the UNESCO Global Geopark that we're going to go. This is Spiller's Cove from up on high. We're at Cape Monta Vista Lighthouse. Got to hike up to it. This is the Fisherman's Memorial dedicated to the men and women who lost their lives in the fishery. This is the Bonavista Vista Lighthouse. This is another puffin colony at Bonaventure Lighthouse area. I hope you can hear them. Those are mostly seagulls, though. The geological formations are pretty stunning here. 
I don't know if you can see all the crabs. But we have actual cows here. This is the first time. Very interesting fence. This is the Memorial Christian Church. This is Orange Hall, erected in 1907. This is Mockbager Plantation. This is the other side of Mockbager's Plantation. This is Bonavista Bicycle Picnics and Cafe. BonavistaPicnicsCafe.com. We saw something similar by Port Rexton. The Matthew Legacy is inside this building. This is the Matthew Legacy. This is kind of a 300 degree of Bonavista Peninsula. Or actually the town of Bonavista. This is the William Alexander House. This is Ryan Premises. It's a National Historic Site of Canada. They sold all kinds of things, including caskets. We're at the Visitor Information Center. We're headed down to the Buren Peninsula next. I need some info. We got back on the Trans-Canada Highway, the TCH for... Oh, I'm videoing. Oh, it's a video. Oh, We're getting ready to do our morning hike. This looks very different from the handout we got at the visitor center, so we'll see how it goes. There's all kinds of rocks along this trail. I thought this one was really cute. This bench is to depict Jelly Bean Row and St. John's where we're headed. I think this is where I was supposed to park, which would have made it a little bit shorter, but that's okay. This says, we are just lost souls swimming in a fishbowl. This gives you a v good view of the city. Someone did an amazing job on this boardwalk too. I'm not sure what this is. Flip it over now. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe Lori can identify. Lots of berries along here and different kinds of plants. Lots of furs. There's a lot of moose tracks out here. You gotta watch where you're going, right? I guess he walked off the boardwalk. There's a couple more really big ones. We're at the Fortune Head Geology Center in Fortune. This is a Cabrian seafloor. So they're going to talk about the geology of the Buren Peninsula and the Newfoundland Appalachians. This showcase has the minerals and the rocks in it. Trim talks about the mammal age. Down in this room was the dinosaurs. This is the ferry terminal too to St. Pierre, which is actually France. There's three islands. We missed it by a day. You can only go on Wednesday and Saturday round trip in the same day. So we think these are the French Islands, SPM.